Once again, we're talking property this morning on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Now, buying the house of your dreams that's situated in the perfect neighborhood, well, let's just be honest, it can be a very daunting task. But luckily for you, Private Property launched their brand new Neighborhoods campaign, and they're taking you through all of those perfect neighborhoods that you can expect from South Africa. And this morning, we're joined by Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property, to talk about Belito. Is this the neighborhood for you? Simon, lovely to have you with us back in studio again. Good to be back. Yeah, man. Belito, epic holiday destination for myself, especially Especially with my, you know, growing up at Johannesburg, mid-year breaks, you know, July, June, July, school holidays. Are oh, we going to Belito? But why is it a good neighborhood to consider in terms of living? I think what you just said there is exactly the reason that we've embarked on this neighborhoods project at Private Property. This idea of showcasing what a neighborhood has to offer. Uh, because a lot of South Africans have built stereotypes around their own experiences. You know, f for me as well, growing up in Johannesburg, mm. uh, Belito, Mschlanga, those areas were always holiday areas. You know, <laughs> you'd go down to the hotels, or you'd go down to the, the accommodation there and you'd enjoy a couple of weeks of fun in the sun. Belito has grown into so much more than that. So the Neighbourhoods Project on Private Property seeks to answer a lot of other questions around neighbourhoods that people are perhaps not thinking about as actively mm. uh, as they would. So when you think Belito, of course, you know, there's the beach, there's this beautiful north coast lifestyle, there's this feeling of great weather. I mean, you're virtually in the tropics there. So it's a great place to spend, uh, particularly mm. winter. There's a lot more that started to happen. There's obviously these great estates that have opened up and each of them offer uh, an element of lifestyle or community uh, that uh, is hard to find elsewhere in KZN. And uh, shopping centers popping up all over the place. So there's a good growth story, good development story there as well. All right. So when, of course, looking at buying your house, you need to consider the neighborhood, where it's situated, but also the type of people that live in this neighborhood. Are you going to fit in nicely as well? Are you going to enjoy it? So who will we kind of find living in Belito? There's a great mix, actually. There's obviously the Belito residents that have been there for years, and there's a, there's a sense of small town feel that's still there, which uh, I think attracts some people to the area. Uh, but a great move of young Durban families north. Uh, there's the safety and security in particular that the estates up there offer uh, and that's drawing a lot of young Durban families out of the traditional Durban suburbs further north and it's achievable because the access to Durban if you if you work in Durban or Amschlange uh, there's still easy access from Belito it's only a half an hour drive which you know in the context of of Durban locals is a long way but in the context of, of nationally uh, it's it's mm. actually a short commute so you're seeing a lot of young families but you're also seeing an interesting trend where uh, Joburg uh, businessmen are choosing to base their families down in Belito and work in Joburg. You know, the commute's not that far, airport's just around the corner. Are you serious? Is that, I mean, is that even possible yeah. to, 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 to do that? Now, it's a fascinating thing, eh? and, and you're actually seeing this sort of trend pop up around the world. I, I saw an interesting tweet online this, uh, this week. A guy that works in London uh, was looking at London apartments, London rentals, and of course those are crazy expensive. Yeah. And he did the numbers and it made sense to actually live in Barcelona and work in London. So he now commutes from Barcelona to London every day. And similarly, you're seeing that in, in South Africa. Guys are basing their families, as I said, in Belito. There's great schools, there's great lifestyle. The kids get a different type of lifestyle to, to growing up in Johannesburg. And uh, you can still work uh, in Johannesburg quite easily. I mean, the commute is a 45-minute flight and then hop in a car. And, and so it's feasible to, to work three, four days uh, in a business in Joburg and still live down on the coast. I think that's definitely something to consider when you are buying your house, specifically, you know, thinking about Belito being such a nice area. Now, uh, property-wise, what can we expect? It's a great mix again. Uh, I think it's still a value market. There's been a lot of growth in some of the up end uh, of the market, particularly estates like Simbiti and, of course, Simbali. Those are up market estates for sure, and, and you're going to pay anything between uh, four and six million rand for a nice house there. But there's still value on the other end of the market. You've got complexes and smaller estates that are offering two, three bedroom homes uh, at great prices. And that's, that's what's driving a lot of the growth in the area. Sure, if only Belito was closer to, to Cape Town as <laughs> well. But I mean, let's talk about that. I mean, neighborhoods, that's pretty similar. I mean, if you, if you like the Belito lifestyle, um, what it offers anywhere else in South Africa that we can find a, a similar kind of vibe? Uh, you know, it's, a, it's tough to match neighborhood with neighborhood. We've, we've attempted to do it on the website through a cool lifestyle filter. Uh, so it, it makes connections between neighborhoods that are perhaps disconnected geographically. But um, Belito's got a unique vibe. It's got that small town feel, that great uh, coastal weather. If you had to consider uh, its similarities with other 
uh, areas of the country, certainly the growth is a similarity with some of the areas in the country. Mm -hmm. Belito is the fastest growing municipality in South Africa right now. So, you know, you're seeing massive infrastructure development, shopping centers, uh, growth in the residential property market. So similar neighborhoods would be places like Four Ways in Johannesburg, Centurion just outside of Pretoria, uh, and perhaps for that beachy feel, Mschlunga has also got its own growth story. Yeah, all right, perfect. Simon, thank you so much, man. Talking about Belito as a neighborhood this morning. But, I mean, deciding on the neighborhood that you want to stay in is now as easy as one, two, three. Simply log on to privateproperty.co.za and let them guide you through the right neighborhood that's just perfect for your needs.